You still a nail biter? Uh, I have a little bit, not, not of late. We've had everybody else biting their nails. The answer to the question everybody wants to know. LeBron, what's your decision? Um, in this fall, man, it's, it's, it's very tough. Um, in this fall, I'm going to take my talents to South Beach and uh, join the Miami Heat. We hate you, LeBron. This is terrible. This is the worst thing that could ever happen to Cleveland. For him to go on there and drag us through the mud for seven years and stab us in the heart, he deserves everything he gets. Champions don't do that. I love, I love the news writers and the headlines. Yeah. LeBron Lagan. The most hated athlete. You're a grown man. I mean, what's wrong with you? I hope he never wins anything in Miami. You can feel it. Um, you don't even have to hear it sometimes. You can feel it. Traders don't leave legacies. When things get difficult, you fight. You know, the hatred of, of my departure. It's nine years in this league, and this kid has not won a championship. People gonna hate on you until you win the championship. Dallas Mavericks are NBA champions. A stunning ending to one of the more compelling seasons in NBA history. Does it bother you that so many people are happy to see you fail? We have never ever seen a player this gifted who flames out and fails so consistently. He's the most scrutinized athlete probably in the history of the world. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron. 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 Going through my first seven years in the NBA, I was always the, you know, the liked one, and to be in on the other side, I mean, angry. You created this monster that was called the Miami Heatles. Now you gotta finish it up. I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't shake it, I couldn't shake it. You know, and I started to buy into it. You know, now you have to be the villain. And that's not the way I played the game of basketball. Because I sat in my room for two weeks, did absolutely nothing, talked to absolutely nobody. How different do you want it to be this season? Oh, it's totally different. I think he quit listening and reading and watching. Everybody was saying it's over. This is the perfect stage for LeBron James. James drives, James finishes. I feel very confident and comfortable in my game right now. James! Oh, he throws it down! I think he finally started to say, let me just be myself. The only way that this, this is really fun at this level is to win. If I don't win this year, I'm going to get buried under every cemetery that they got. For me, I can't worry about what everybody say about me. I'm LeBron James from the inner city. I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm blessed. So what everybody say about me off the court don't matter. I ain't got no worries. Congratulations, LeBron. LeBron James loves Northeast Ohio, still lives there in the summers, and would love to make it right with that region. Could it really happen? Could he come back here to Cleveland? Do you think the people of Cleveland have, I hate the word forgiven, but have they forgiven you? Are they past that? Uh, I'm not sure. Don't be surprised if LeBron James returns to Cleveland. And I'm telling you, don't be surprised. He's got to do it. He has to do it. He's got to do it. And I have nothing, nothing bad to say about these fans at all. I'm here as a Miami player, and I'm happy where I am now. Um, but I don't rule that out. Do you want to come back down the road? He may come back here to maybe bring us a championship. Have you changed or have we changed because you've won not one but two championships? Um, I've changed. Um, I've changed for the right. He was leading the hopes and dreams of everyone in Ohio. One of my favorite quotes I ever got, I said, what's it like to be LeBron's boss? He looked me square in the eye and said, LeBron James doesn't have a boss. The decision is over. LeBron James, a clean. The Cleveland Cavaliers, worth about $515 million, are now a billion dollar asset. That is one guy making that happen. People came to me and said, LeBron, you gotta do what makes you happy. I'ma do what makes my city and my state happy and that's why I came back I love you I'm back
What is your individual right now as a 16-year-old? What's your long-term goal? To get to the NBA. Do you want to be the best? Yeah. I want to be the greatest of all time. And that's my motivation. Can you deliver an NBA title to Cleveland? I'm going to just try to get my team better every day. I can't promise the NBA championships no one, you know. I would take all the pain that comes with competing for a championship. How do you handle that kind of pressure? Well, pressure been following me my whole life. And I just feel like anything that I have to do to take the pressure off me, that's just playing my game. I think pressure is created by what you do out on the floor. And, you know, I know how to play the game of basketball, and, and that's what I will fall back on. I'm in love with success. I have a, a goal of mine to try to be the, the greatest of all time. I got a goal, and that's a huge goal, and that's to bring an NBA championship here to Cleveland, and I won't stop till I get it. LeBron's human, and he's approaching age 30. How are the Cleveland Cavaliers looking? LeBron lost the handle, missed the dunk. When I look at LeBron James, does he look the same? No. Something's going on with LeBron. They have so many issues right now. You know, I'm, I'm kind of in shock. Uh, no one has confidence. No one trusts each other. I don't think LeBron has any real excuse right now. He was an embarrassment. It's, it's definitely a personal failure. Cleveland will never win a championship. That is not happening. Does legacy matter to him? He's got to worry about legacy. LeBron James had one of the most lethargic performances that he scored only two points. That's something that hasn't happened since 2003. You're not the most valuable player this year. He wants to be recognized as the best in the world. Well, maybe he's not the best player in the world. What the hell is going on with Steph Curry? Steph Curry, man, we've been talking about LeBron James being the best player in the world. Are we getting to a point where we might have to start revisiting that conversation? You think you're the best player in the NBA? I, I think that, yes. Curry, way down to Oh, what a shot from Curry! Steph Curry, in his own way, is essentially letting y'all know, I'm the king, and here I come. We went through every task, we went through everything. The odds against us, but we here. Let's get through it, all right? Welcome to felt but obviously didn't feel right it ain't about Kyrie put it on me they're certainly not winning an NBA world championship not only is this series over everything's over and the dream season is now complete the Golden State Warriors are the 2015 NBA champions their first title in 40 years a disappointed LeBron James I've missed the playoffs twice. I lost in the finals four times. I'm almost starting to be like, oh, I'd rather not even make the finals. There's something about LeBron James that's really starting to alarm me. We're seeing the LeBron that is 31. He's no longer Superman. Those days are over. He's a human being. Well, I'm just so disappointed, man. I'm just so disappointed in the effort. No matter what opponent, the losing haunts me. The Memphis Grizzlies come in here and a loss and will uh, sit with the Cavs for a while. There's a lot of room for improvement. But we got a long way to go. The Cleveland Cavaliers got their heart snatched right out of their chest tonight. Steph Curry is having the greatest season any player has ever had. Are the Cavs done? Yes, they are. I don't even know why that's a question. It's over. LeBron told me he can't remember being that upset on an NBA court. People have feelings and I guess his feelings just got hurt. This is a tough situation for our team. You know, it's tough. I got to continue to be aggressive, but uh, we got to get one. This might be the most important legacy game for LeBron James. Irving back to James. Oh, he throws it down. Mama, there goes that man. Please. Nothing! Nothing! Golden State gets themselves in trouble. James! Take the lead! Harry blocked by James! LeBron James with no record for human life! Is not.
not how you drive, it's how you arrive. Momentum is a dangerous thing. I don't think they fear the Warriors anymore. Two most important days of your life is when you were born and when you discovered the reason why you were born. I think we were born to be champions. When we go into this game tonight, we're going to win. Cavalier fans have hope again that this could be the year. Fans have been coming out hours before the game. It's been crazy phenomenon. This could be one of the more viewed games in league history. LeBron James and his greatness in Game 7, it's going to be very interesting. If LeBron is the one to finally bring a championship to Cleveland, that should be worth two or three championships. Livingston sees an opening and throws it down! Wow! James fakes, James drives, James finishes! Iguodala to Curry, back to Iguodala, up to the left! Oh, blocked by James! It's over! It's over! The Cavaliers are NBA champions! I gave everything that I had. I put my heart, my blood, my sweat, my tears to this game, and... Cleveland! This is for you! LeBron, it was unanimous. Most valuable player, 2016 NBA Finals. Congratulations. You know, just knowing what our, what our city has been through, Northeast Ohio has been through as far as our sports and everything for the last 50 plus years. And, and our fans, they ride or die <laughs> for us to be able to end this, end this drought. Uh, our fans deserve it. It was for them. Water, water. Nice red, way to move the ball. I just want to win. I'm not here to lose. I just want to win, so that's the that's the priority. That's the number one priority. Win. Cleveland and Atlanta have basically agreed to a deal which would send Kyle to Cleveland. He is hotter than a blowtorch. Oh, do it to him! Do it to him! Lay up for 23-9. Eventually, it starts to become a rivalry. Both teams have a lot of talent, talent that's right in their prime. That's the true making of a rivalry. The Cavs have had their eyes on Andrew Bogut for months. Are you ready to go? Yeah. The Cavs' goal is to get to the playoffs healthy, fresh, and rested. Oh, boy. I mean, that's just, that's just bad luck there. It's just... Right. I heard it. I heard it crack. Broken. Yeah, I heard it. I'm sorry. I heard it. You heard the injury? Yeah, I heard it break. Oh, man. Yeah, I heard it break. He is going to require surgery and is going to miss what I've been told is an extended period of time. There has been some concern about the health of Kevin Love. If you're trying to go after the title now, are you putting your money on an injured Kevin Love? Still very frustrated that the Cavs are getting worse, not better, just about two weeks away from the playoffs. Look at who this team has lost to. They cannot win it. We'll get into this later. They can't win at that pace. They haven't been disciplined. They haven't been on the same page with one another. And they could be the one seed, the eight seed. If they're going to play like this, they're going to have serious problems. You can't lose belief in yourself. Like, like you're there for a reason. Like, we're all here for a reason. The home of LeBron James was vandalized. Police say it was a hate crime. The N-word sprayed on the entryway to the uh, $20 million home. When I was in the fourth grade, I missed 82 days of school. I didn't care. My mom was so in and out and trying to figure out a way to make a living. I didn't have to go to school. I didn't have to be in when the street lights came on. I go in the house at 2 o'clock in the morning. I was 9 years old. I didn't have to go to school. I woke up at noon That's at so 9 o'clock. The streets are so intriguing. What sport saved my damn life? It saved my life. I was doing things that I, I back on was say, like, there's no way you should have made it out. Do you trust the Cavs to flip the switch come playoff time? <laughs> yes. I take full responsibility for our team. I got to do whatever it takes.
When you make mistakes, it's how you come back from adversity. It's how you come back from those pitfalls that define who you are as a man. Yeah, yeah. And here we go. Just be cautious. We this is a start that's the best he's ever had in the playoffs. No LeBron is as unstoppable as we've ever seen him. He is having the most prolific playoffs of his career. Without him, this team is not going to win. He's that great. This is the best total basketball player I've ever seen. He has gotten himself to peak performance mode. It's hard to believe, but he's better, a lot better. The maturity, his pacing. Yeah, I didn't think he could get any better after that, but he is. Uh, just live in the moment. Just live in the moment. Like I said, this is not a... Uh, it's not promised every year for sure. We all know that. It takes a hard work and dedication, and uh, we just all got to live in the moment, and uh, we'll prepare the best way we can. It's going to come down to LeBron, Golden State. Who's going to win the championship? Come on, say the right thing. I say Golden State. The Warriors, they're motivated to take back the title. They have this so many options that your margin for error is so small. Durant lobs it up, McKee throws it down. You're tired, but that's the last thing you're telling yourself. Real ain't gonna never tell themselves they tired. You're tired now. You might even bend over and hold your knees, but you would never let it creep into your mind like, yo, I'm tired. And James throws it right down in his face. We haven't seen Durant and Curry play at the peak of their powers like this. LeBron needs Kyrie to be Kyrie. You're the best player in the world. You get a ton of the credit when you win. You deserve some blame. There have been times where he's been absolutely devastated. Two years ago, when they lost in game six uh, back at home, he sat at his locker for 45 minutes lamenting the situation he was in. We have better players than him in his position already on our team. I don't think you can really just bring a high school player in. He's the fake MJ. The higher the expectations, the worse he performed. He's the most overrated, overhyped superstar in my history in this business, seriously. I don't believe in pressure. I, I demand excellence, and I want nothing less. James drives hard and throws it down. I think today, people should appreciate Michael Jordan more than ever before. I would take all the pain that comes with competing for a championship, because I know I left it all on the floor. LeBron lost by 23 points last night. Guess what, America? LeBron James can no longer guard Kevin Durant. No matter how famous you are, at the end of the day, it hurts. You know, Kyrie Irving waited for LeBron as they walked into the locker room and they had their arms around each other and LeBron just simply said to him, we'll be back. You and I will be back. I'm chasing that greatness. That's always been my goal since I got in the NBA. I am the Laker. I am. I'm definitely a Laker. I feel it. I'm happy as hell to be one. The excitement that I have to be a Laker, this is kind of like a dream come true for me. I've always felt like that was like one of the historic franchises. And you look at the Lakers, you know, being able to play for a historic franchise. Uh, a day doesn't go by where you play. I don't think about them. There's always the Lakers with big brother and Clippers with little brother in LA. Now we're seeing something shift. Kawhi Leonard made LeBron James not look athletic. We thought LeBron James had no matchup until Kawhi showed up. For me to be a Los Angeles Laker and play inside Staples Center, to see all that purple and gold. James holding his left leg. I don't think that uh, you owe anything to another person in terms of figuring out what you want to do with your life. I think the sky's the limit for that kid. And, uh, you know, his talent, his work ethic, uh, you know, the fact that he loves to continue to, to learn about how to play the game. I think the sky's the limit for him. And, uh, he 
kid's 23 years old. It's been awesome to be a part of. One of the great playoff runs of all time is complete. LeBron's been in this league for a while now. That's the type of guy that I want to be with every single time I'm going to war. If we continue to be with one another and keep utilizing one another, man, the sky is the limit. You have to be selfish in that and figuring out what you want to do. And there is no looking back from that standpoint. When I heard Kyrie wanted to be traded, I had a ton of emotions. You know, I was wondering if something I could have did better to make him not want to be traded. Is it the way that the season finished? Was it me coming back in the first place? I don't, I don't know. Listen, man, we're trying to win a championship. You're either with us or you're against us. This is the best stretch I've seen LeBron James play in quite some time. It's about the efficiency. I've been in this position before, so I know once the game gets going, then I'll be able to just focus on us just trying to get better and be the best team that we can be. He's shooting like 45% from three. This is the best start we've seen for LeBron James, too. This is the most efficient LeBron James ever. There was an article about how LeBron, playoff LeBron, is real. Well, they have to understand LeBron's a million years old, has a billion miles on his legs, has to take it easy. But he does flip the switch in the playoffs, so they will get better in the playoffs. But better enough to beat the Pacers in the first round, which is going to be a tough series. Yeah. He's the best on the planet. Yeah, but right. minutes That's played already surpassing Michael Jordan. Yep. And still at this level with that efficiency. Yeah. That conversation's still open. James, two seconds, one second to the win. Yeah. Uh -huh. They know me. They know me. Then, the Toronto Raptors, oh, the top five defense, they have to rely on LeBron flipping that switch to the next level and everyone following him. You're going to do that just when the playoffs show up? This is the year they simply don't have enough. There's not enough talent on the roster, even for the great LeBron James. That's why I sit up here today, still in this uniform, uh, still ready to uh, lead this franchise to a championship, uh, put us in a position where we can be successful. Steps, tries it again, puts it in as the shot clock expires. First finals trilogy and first finals rubber match. I like the Warriors to win the championship this year. Great to see him back on the floor. James drives past Livingston and throws it down. He said she was all city. James again from downtown. Hill misses. Rebound goes to the Cavs. J.R. Smith brings it back out. Throws it to Hill. Hill shot blocked. And we'll go to overtime. And that'll do it. Golden State survives in overtime. There's the buzzer. There's a new dynasty in the NBA. The Golden State Warriors champions once again, back-to-back -back titles, three in four years, and the latest with a sweep. I would love to see him stay as a Cavalier. I think it's going to solidify him to stay in Cleveland. He's too good to go somewhere and try to chase a ring. He's done that already, got two championships out of that. I would love to see him stay in that uniform. You see these great, unbelievable, beautiful horses going for the Triple Crown. They, they have all these people here going, they're betting on these horses, they're excited, everyone's going crazy. But you see these horses, they have these blinders. They don't see nothing but the finish line. You know, and they just zeroed in on what their goal is and what the main thing is. And I try to, and I try to just always stay there. We've got breaking news. LeBron is a Laker. LeBron James is a Los Angeles Laker for what ought to occupy the final act of his NBA story. Four-year, $154 million, a max deal. That's, that's what he can sign in L.A. Uh, likely an opt-out after three years that could put him back in free agency or negotiate a new deal. First of all, I I'm ecstatic. I think it was the right situation, the right call for him to make. He wasn't going to get anything accomplished in Cleveland. That was obvious. you got to give kudos to Magic Johnson. So LeBron came to this decision uh, a few days ago. He's been letting some select people in his life know that this was coming. On this Lakers team, you're not only the only elite player, you are the only all-star. That's my job right now is to show everybody that I can win with, with whatever. 
he was like, okay, I'm not going to get a superstar. I'm going to be the guy and carry this team. Um, I think pressure is created by what you do out on the floor. And, you know, I know how to play the game of basketball, and, and that's what I will fall back on. I'll fall back on the fundamentals of the game and, and fall back on my knowledge of the game and, and the way I prepare. It's LeBron James leading a team. And we were new to each other, so uh, we want to improve on everything. I'm still that man. And why they might not want to come play with me, you either play with me or I walk over you. He is as close to flawless as any superstar we have ever seen in the history of sports. I've, I've beat the odds. I, I never put a ceiling. I never said how many years I want to play. You know why you never seen Michael Jordan do this? Because in year 16, he was home with his feet up. I've, al I've already exceeded that. The life expectancy of an NBA player is definitely not 16 years. I just, I've never um, taken it for granted. And here he is. He might fire one up. I know what I'm going to get from LeBron. We've never seen anything like it. James lost it, gets it back. He tried to stretch it a little bit. Now without LeBron James. And lift off the court. He hasn't missed a game this season. How do you think this season will be remembered for the Lakers? It's a lost season. Paul oh, hurt himself. Grabbing onto his, his leg. This year is a throwaway year. They didn't make the playoffs. No, that's over now. You're really not sure what you got with the young guys. This year, for the first time in nearly a decade, you are not playing in June. You, you suffer now, and then at the end of the day, you will live your life as a champion. The rumor mill is a churning. You said recently that it would be amazing if the Lakers traded for Anthony Davis. It would be unbelievable to have a 25-year-old superstar. It would be amazing. What, I mean, come on now, I mean, I'm, Stephen Wonder can see that. A player like this, I roll the dice and wait till the summer. Next year, we're not taking this nonsense. Anthony Davis traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. What does that do for the balance of power out west? I think the most difficult part for me was just not knowing. You got LeBron, you got AD, you're in the conversation. You get to play alongside um, you know, LeBron and play for an organization that's all about winning. Um, Oh, forget winning, winning championships, you know, and, and that's the only goal. Man, we gotta, I gotta get back to June. Figure out what your meaning is. And when you're able to do that, you're able to tap into some things that you may not even thought you was possible. LeBron, center of the lane, all the way to the rim again! Watch that pass! Now LeBron forcing his way to the top! authority right down the lane and nobody stopped him. Drives and two men and scores plus a foul. Slam in, count it. There's always some good to what other people think is bad. Look out! Oh, the crowd on their feet is what they came to see. I haven't had that much rest for my body to kind of reset everything, kind of strip down the car and, and actually rebuild it back up. LeBron James! Well, you know, about splitting a couple of defenders. LeBron James has put the Lakers in front. LeBron to the rim. What a fantastic driving bucket. There were people this summer more than ever wondering if you, you were washed. Yes, sir, LeBron! You never clean. The Lakers and the Clippers being this good at the same time. LeBron, Claw. You can go down the list. This is the teams that everybody's been talking about all offseason. They play with so much energy. That becomes infectious. The battle for L.A. This is, in my opinion, even greater than we thought it could be. Now you got the stars on both teams. And not only do you have the stars, but you got the generational stars. They already don't recognize us as a so-called L.A. team, but we're the L.A. Clippers. Y'all try to overlook us. I don't mean to me. At the end of the day, y'all don't have to recognize us, man. We're going to make you understand who we are. There's always the Lakers with big brother and Clippers with little brother in L.A. And now we're seeing something shift. I think the Clippers are the best team in the West. And I think that's just too much for him. Like, he's got to do it all the time. It's going to be a tough one. LeBron said he's had been tired of watching people play with the throne, play with his name, say he's not on top anymore. I think we're going to see him come out with a lot of added motivation. 
for you, LeBron. I know you've always said you don't need any extra motivation. But, but I got something to say. We're not talk oh. mode, though. Oh. But I'm not in talk mode. My mom told me. I wish no, no, I could no. elaborate a little when bit more. When you're on this desk, you're My mom talk told me. She was like, listen, don't talk about it, be about it. But I, I, there's some motivation for me. There was a lot of con that's a lot of conversations going on this summer. James behind the back to Howard. Incredible. That guy is amazing. I mean, it just, you know, I'm a fan of true greatness in sports. I don't care what team, what sport. Oh, here he goes. All the way. Look out. Wow. He's got something to prove, and he's having a ball this year. There's a look in his eye, like, man, I found the fun again in basketball. Like Here's James, goes across the lane, lays it up, and lays it in, and there it is. He just became the third leading scorer in NBA history, passing Kobe Bryant. I'm happy just to be in a, any conversation with Kobe being Bryant, you know, seeing what he was able to accomplish, winning championships. Now I'm here in the Lakers uniform, just admiring him for so many years. Kobe Bryant is, is dead at the age of 41 due to a helicopter crash just north of Los Angeles. Tonight, we celebrate the kid that came here at 18 years of age. Retired at 38 and became probably the best dad that we've seen over the last three years, man. So in the words of Kobe Bryant, Mamba out, but in the words of us, not forgotten. Live on, brother. It's too soon. I mean, way too soon. This was the guy they grew up on, a true, iconic guy. You want to be great at something, and you want to be the best at something. You become so driven that you won't let nothing stand in the way of it. Me wearing an oversized jersey, me wearing a finger sleeve, me wearing his shoes, just showing the appreciation and the love that he gave us. Uh, a day doesn't go by where I don't think about him. A day doesn't go by where our organization does, uh, does not remember him. Who right now in the NBA universe has the most pressure in Los Angeles? When you're a Laker, everybody's going to say something about you. Patrick Bevel has set the tone for the entire game. It's an honor to watch him play. We have a lot of room to improve. We're a new group that's coming together. We have a new coaching staff. We have a new system. We still build it. It's the first game, the first time all of us played with each other. Right now, with them being both at their peaks right now, as far as talent is concerned, this will be a heightened rivalry between these two Los Angeles teams. It exceeded everyone's expectations. You have multiple all-stars. I think the Clippers are the best team in the West. Then you got the Lakers, and after that, it don't matter. I'm right now not in talking about it mode. I've been very quiet this summer for a reason. My mother always told me, uh, don't talk about it, be about it. The strength again. Kawhi Leonard guarding LeBron James, drives past him, layup is good. This building is filled with Laker jerseys. James drives, layup, count it, and the foul! The game has been postponed between the Jazz and the Thunder tonight. Still awaiting official word from the league office as to exactly why they've determined not to play tonight. We've been reading about this, dealing with this, talking about this for the last two, three weeks, so it's finally hit our country. Some guys are going along fine, and then their game just falls off a cliff. Do you worry about that at all? No, I don't. I don't. Um, because my game is so multi-dimensional that I can actually camouflage some parts of my game that can make it decline and actually still be productive. The NBA and the NBPA released an update to the NBA returns. The rules are for everybody. It's a championship, it's a championship. You go to play, you go to win. While Staples Center has been the mecca of basketball this year, all eyes are on Orlando as the NBA restart unfolds. What I've learned in a Laker is that the Laker faithful don't give a damn what you've done before. You gotta do it with them as well. They don't care about your resume at all. You gotta do it as a Laker. 
in that respect. I've learned that. If you remember, when he first came here two years ago, a lot of people loved the move, but a lot of people weren't happy and said he had to really earn his stripes because everyone wanted to put him on that Laker Mount Rushmore already. He's in the process of earning everyone's love and respect. These games, they separate themselves right here with the Clippers. This is statement nice defense. defense. Isn't that true? Oh, it's statement defense right here. Right. I'll, I'll be here to see you. Four second difference. LeBron on the fly. Got his own miss and puts it up and in. We always talk about this all the time. Do you let LeBron go for 50 and 60 and shut everybody else down, or do you try to stop LeBron? Because every time you try to stop LeBron, he's the true definition of a great player. When it's all said and done, he'll be an all-time Laker great. He'll be an all-time Laker favorite. And uh, him and AD will be able to hang their jerseys up there one day. That man, Anthony Davis, it's time for him. You know, the Lakers came out smacking in my life. I didn't see a lot of fire. LeBron off the ball! He's one of the all-time greats the game has ever seen. I thought the Lakers dominated in the paint. You know, in the first half, the Lakers did a real good job of running them off the line. Express yourself, LeBron James! We're going to see what happens next. If you're able to become uh, victorious out of the finals, it doesn't matter who it's against. I'm just happy that I'm here. I believe the man above gave me an opportunity, gave me a gift. I've always been confident that we had the ability to win. I don't know why the man above gives me the hardest role. There's nothing worth having um, that's easy. It comes with the territory and you learn how to deal with it throughout experience. For me personally, I know what my main focus is. My main focus is the game of basketball. But it's been, it's been extremely tough, but you know, I'm, I'm here for one reason and one reason only to compete for a championship. He is going to use the memory of Kobe Bryant to fuel this run. Instead of be happy about job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. The job is not done. I'm going to continue to get the work in. I'm going to continue to not sleep until the job is done. I've been as locked in as I've ever been in my career. Everything about this year is different. Everything about 2020 is different. And how am I different today than, than two years ago when I entered the finals? A little bit more gray hair in my beard. The mind is strong no matter what's going on, no matter the scrutiny, no matter the adversity, to always kind of be even killed. You know, when you have all the athleticism, um, you have all the quickness, you have all the speed, and at that point in time in your career, I think that's when you need to sharpen your mind even more. The ones that, you know, kind of stay in the top tier is ones who can also outthink the game as well. Right now, we see the Los Angeles Lakers in a position to win a championship. Why? LeBron James. AD has played phenomenally, but the experience of LeBron James, the intelligence and understanding how to keep his guys locked in through the bubble period is critical. The Miami Heat, their title hopes are still alive with one of the more surprising results in a finals game in a long, long time. To be able to just to close my eyes and, and just kind of relax myself and calm myself, uh, take deep breaths, it's meditation. I have to go with L.A. because of LeBron James and what he means and what he'll bring to the table. Putting in the work either when you're feeling great, go on the floor, put your time in on the floor, get better and better and better. Every day we're trying to work championship hats. Davis for three. Bang! Anthony Davis from downtown! And the Lakers take a nine-point lead! everyone is going to say this thing is over. It's okay. Our confidence ain't going nowhere. It's going to stay high. I'm going to make sure that it stays high because uh, it's going to have to be at all time high to get this next win. James head down, drives inside, layup, count it, and one. Again, defense leading the offense. He's 7 of 10 from the field and hits that as the shot clock expires. Meanwhile, LeBron James, 21 points. LeBron James nails the three-pointer. Caruso pushes it up the other way. James tries another three-pointer, puts it in. LeBron James now three for four from downtown. One of the best games, not only of the series, John, it's one of the best games I've seen since the restart, honestly, uh, because of what was at stake and the number of big plays and big shots made down the stretch. It was guys rising to the occasion, and it just so happens that Jimmy Butler ended up with the ball last in those free throws. I just want to win. I've been preaching to everybody that it's going to happen. It's going to happen again next game. 
At the end of the day, we just hope we make him and his family proud. Uh, and that's all it's about. Um, and anybody that's ever stepped foot and put on the Lakers jersey, we hope we make them proud as well. Um, I'm e extra motivated by that um, in his own sense. This is when LeBron James is a nightmare to defend. When he makes up his mind that he's going to put the ball down and attack the paint area. The power, the athleticism, the grace, and the skill. And this one has to be so satisfying for LeBron James. He missed the playoffs last year because of the injury during the season. Lakers did not make it. There was talk about other players surpassing him as the best player in basketball. Great start, great start. Great start. James goes to the rim once again, lays it up and in, and he's in double figures. And a timeout called by Eric Spolstrup as the Lakers go up a dozen. LeBron James caps off his 17th year with a triple-double in an NBA championship clincher. 28 points, 14 rebounds, 10 assists. The Lakers, 127 away all this time in the bubble, ends up with what they all set out for as their number one and only goal. LeBron is thinking, I promise this guy this. He's won now with the Miami Heat, with the Cleveland Cavaliers, and the Los Angeles Lakers, as has his teammate Danny Green, also his third championship with three different teams. You guys, come take the trophy. <laughs> Jeannie, it has been a decade of ups and downs to get to this moment right here with these guys. I'm so damn proud of this team. <laughs> World champions! I have a feeling that this finals MVP is going to have a trophy named after him one day. The finals MVP is LeBron James. We just want our respect. Rob wants his respect. Coach Vogel wants his respect. Our organization wants their respect. Laker Nation wants their respect. And I want my damn respect too. Thank <laughs> you.